What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie two ninety eight coming to your lives again through the power of the internet. And I think I managed to do it. I think I managed to officially kill off this channel. If you followed me for the last few years, you'll know that I've had a pretty steady decline in two things: uh, subscriber count and view numbers. And let's just be honest, pretty well deserved. I mean, obviously, a lot of people are going to point towards controversy being the only reason. And that's not the only reason. Uh, you know, obviously, I have been a controversial person over the last few years. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with that, check out one of the hundreds of YouTubers who've made hour-long essays about it. Also, a lot of people will point out the fact that my content never really evolved. You know, there was the Francis videos originally, and those did very well. But one day, YouTube woke up and decided to punish me for making all of these videos by demonetizing it, um, pushing them out of the algorithm, and punishing the channel for it. And that's always going to be part of the legacy. I never really learned how to evolve as a creator. I didn't do what every other OG creator did, which is pivot into video essays and hour-long things about stuff that I'm interested in. I just, I didn't, I didn't know how to do that. I don't really have a desire to do that. I just wanted to make what I made. Unfortunately, a lot of the content that I chose to make was me just sitting in this room talking about myself and bitching about my situation. Because after my divorce, I was a very cynical, angry, bitter person who was obsessed with his emotional health, his mental health, his declining physical health, and my declining finances. And that's pretty much all I talked about for three years. I mean, for the better part of three years, I was doing my best impression of the character Jerry Smith from Rick and Morty, someone who was being intentionally pathetic as a defense mechanism and in hopes that people would feel sorry for me and help me and take care of me. And obviously, that just doesn't work. 2022, I did a buttload of therapy, traditional therapy. And in 2023, at the beginning of the year, I did something crazy. I got off of all of my antidepressants and I did some psychedelic therapy. And I, as I talked about it before, it was a hell of an awakening, becoming self-aware of the things that I've said, the things that I've done, and more importantly, the position that I find myself in now. Since then, a lot of really cool stuff has happened for me. Um, very notably, the boxing match. You know, I got to go to England. I got to get into better shape. I got my ass handed to me, but I still got paid to do it. And it did reflect in my YouTube numbers for a short period of time. The numbers were up. Also, over the summer, I got to travel and go to a bunch of conventions and get paid to do it. Uh, I got to work with my friend Michael, kid behind the camera, and hang out with him for a while. And I think the most notable thing to happen is a, a girl that I've been talking to for a while and I decided to make it official and she's been living with me for the last three months and, and we've been pretty damn glad that worked out. In fact, I've noticed something over the last six months. The healthier I become mentally, the more sane, the less provocative, the better, the harder I work on my content and try to make it interesting or something I'm passionate about, the happier I am in my personal life the worse I'm doing on YouTube. There is a very steady decline that continues with all of this. In fact, I think you could say it's just the momentum from people being sick of my shit for years. You could say that. But that momentum really picked up. Now, the good side of this is, uh, positively, there's still this group of people, 10,000, 12,000, 20,000 people who still watch almost everything I do. And I'm so grateful for that. I think it's a, a blessed miracle that through as boring as my content can be, as controversial of a person as I can be, I've still got these people as my rider dies, they got my back, they're rooting for me, and they want to see me get my shit together. But I'm at a point now where after trying really hard this summer, I think I'm comfortable just admitting to myself and admitting to my fans and admitting to the people that have ever watched me here on YouTube that the dream is over. Uh, this will never be a full-time job again. That sucks. It is what it is. Uh, but I, I fucked it up. And that's okay. Life moves on. This is what I was so afraid of when I made that desperate I need your help video a year ago. When I was basically begging people to watch my videos. And I talked about the big plans that I had. And, and I made a lot of those plans come true. I'm actually really excited about that. But the reality that I was afraid of is the reality I'm living in now. And I'm here to say to you, I'm here to say to myself, I'm here to say to 2022 Boogie, you think you can't handle it. You can. It's not as bad as you were afraid of. I can tell you for a fact 
were it not for the traditional therapy combined with the psychedelic therapy, right now I would be scared shitless. And I am still a little bit scared, I won't lie. But for the most part, I'm just excited to see how all this plays out. I'm just excited to see how this unfolds. I don't know. This is the challenge I've presented for myself, so let's see how we figure it out. But here comes the e-begging part of the video. I know that's how the internet's going to take it. Uh, but if you go down to the description box below, you're going to see a link to my Whatnot store. That's an app where I'll be selling off my Magic the Gathering collection. You can buy the cards I've owned over the last 30 years. I'll sign cards for you. You can buy other collectibles that I own as well if you want to help out and you want to own a piece of boogie history or magic history or some other thing. While you're down there, there's also going to be a link to my merch store. There's going to be a link to a sponsor. And if you're feeling extremely generous and you just want to give maybe a buck or two, you can always check out channel memberships. And if you don't want to do any of that, but you still think you might like some of the content I've made over the summer or the content that I'll make this fall, do me a favor. Give me a follow. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's entirely free to do. And on top of that, the easiest thing you can do is just watch future videos that I plan to upload. I've got some plans for this fall. It's mostly going to be setting down in front of the camera videos like I used to do because that is my favorite thing to do besides the travel content. And I'm definitely not in a position where I should be doing any more of that traveling content unless I'm getting paid to do it. So I hope you'll just uh, dig in and continue watching the videos as you always have, my friend. And as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much. And I will speak with you again.